All new at 9, the International Institute is pausing in-kind donations because of overwhelming support from St. Louisans. Now, tonight, only on Fox 2, Zara Barker is in studio to show us the full donation room. Zara. Yeah, Vic, Mandy, this right behind me is what the crew at the International Institute are currently sorting through. Organizers tell me they've seen an incredible display of generosity. Now, the president of the organization also told me today they've now been asked to house 1,400 refugees instead of the previously anticipated 1,000. We are surrounded by donations that have come from the community. Pots and pans, dishes, school supplies, and toys. These are all cleaners over here, and here you see lots of baskets. It's all waiting for Afghan refugees who make St. Louis their new home. We'll pack all of these things in the basket so the family doesn't only have provisions, they have a laundry basket. Arreo Benson, the president and CEO of International Institute of St. Louis, showed us around the gym full of donations. But if we're looking for a heartwarming story, this is a heartwarming story. I'm standing in the middle of the gym at the International Institute and I'm surrounded by donations, but organizers say this isn't the only place they've been storing them. We didn't envisage that it would fill this gym, overflow into the corridors. The Institute is also storing items in an extra warehouse and three storage facilities, and it's still not enough room to house the generosity of St. Louis. People went to buy new dishware, new everything you see here, mostly new stuff. People shopped for this, for this, for this families. It's, it's incredible. Because of the influx of donations, the Institute is pausing in-kind donations and only accepting cash or grocery gift cards until volunteers can take inventory and figure out what they still need. Uh, we knew that there will be support, but we had no idea, no idea that it would be this magnitude. Volunteer applications at the Institute have increased by several hundred percent, but they need more. So when refugees and the parolees first arrive, there's a, a list of things that we have to do for them, including um, health screenings and uh, bus orientation and grocery orientation. All of those activities um, involve volunteers. A full gym awaiting new families and a community ready to welcome them. And several refugee families have already arrived in St. Louis and are already putting those donations to use. But Obinson says in the next week they're expecting another wave of refugees coming to St. Louis. Vic Mandy.